Welcome to HR Katha Presents Happiness at Work, powered by Happiness. We are back again with the second guest of 2022, Anil. Anil currently works with Medica Bazaar as head of people and culture. He has spent a large part of his career with telecom companies, both products and services. He has worked with Reliance Geo, Uninar, UI, and Tata Teleservices. Anil will share his perspective on happiness and work. As we continue to honor the pearls of workplace happiness. Welcome to the show, Anil. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, uh, Charkatha, and particularly you for so giving me this opportunity. Happy to. Thank you, you Asa. So, so, how do you, you know, define happiness, both, uh, you know, personally and professionally? Do you see those two, you know, in a, in a very different light? See, uh, for me, happiness, uh, whether it is uh, professional or personal, uh, it has, I generally don't distinguish between uh, both. Most of your time, you are spending it at, at office. So uh, you are more uh, uh, in the office rather than that home. So if, for, if I describe happiness, for example, if I'm coming to office, doing some mechanical work, going back home, sitting in front of the TV, watching TV or having a drink, I think uh, the, there's not the happiness. Okay. So for me, if you are coming to office on time, fully engaged uh, with your work, and while going back, you are well satisfied or you will say that no, something has been, I mean, I was supposed to do so many things, uh, but I left out uh, uh, because of the time constraint uh, going back and spending your time with family happily. I think it's a, it's, that means you are a, both happy at home as well as uh, office. So you want to say that, you know, you want, you, you try to find something meaningful or you know if you had a fruitful day then then you think it's 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 a happy day Absolutely. For you. yes yes okay so and and say uh, how do you see it you know you are head of people and culture and uh, your job entails that you know you have a happy uh, workforce at many so how do you ensure that you know medica bazaar continues to be a happy workplace first you know is you think that is something that is achievable that is something you can strategize and do it or it has to be left on its own you know there is is there a certain hygiene to be maintained which will ensure that there is a happy you know work culture or a happy uh, workforce is there something that can yeah. be structured achieved see both ways so uh, you can strategy make a strategy to make your workplace happy and fully engaged and at the same time it's a top down approach also so it's and it all depends individual to individual okay if i want to ensure that my uh, team members should be happy uh, then uh, uh, i think uh, i can do that as, as a leader i will ensure that that happens but at the same time it also comes from the from my manager or the uh, or the leader so if i am happy i will ensure that my people will should be happy that uh, you will find a couple of people who wants happiness but they don't uh, uh, pass it on to their, their team members so hence I, I think it's both individual driven and you are it's an inborn quality and at the same time as an organization as a HR leader we should also ensure that your workplace your organization is one of the happiest place to uh, for all employees if people are happy obviously you know uh, how it moves it's once you are happy it it, it, it looks like means it uh, works like a fire yeah. the moment all people are happy then it will it will reflect each and every 
uh, a person it will reflect each and every hour it will reflect in each and every day and overall you will see the the, the organization's growth the profitability your sales will increase it all depends so if something is missing that means there is a there is a uh, there is something has to be worked on the happiness if people are not willing to come to office i think uh, they are not engaged they are not happy okay. sometimes so getting out uh, getting off early in the morning you will feel like uh, lazy chhod dete hain kaun jayega aaj mera boss ye bhi puchne wala hai so that means he is not engaged he is not happy he is not motivated okay so but uh, you know as an hr leader or you know as somebody who is the uh, i'm saying custodian of the company's culture how do you ensure that you know obviously there would be gaps somewhere you know you you know how do you ensure that you know there is oneness in terms of happiness or you know if you find gaps how do you you know fill those gaps you know how do you identify that these are the problem areas and this is how you know we need to deal about it like you were saying that you know there are certain people who themselves they want to be happy but they don't pass on to the team you know right. so i think that is, that is that's a you know roadblock somewhere How yes get about these these, these roadblock roadblocks or you know that see uh, for me uh, yes absolutely hr is the custodian of uh, the culture the happiness and so on so forth but at the same time uh, being only in hr i can't help it or i can't do it it's a leadership uh, which uh, makes a difference okay. and basically you know any organization will not find all the leaders at the same space or same attitude or same behavior but as an organization as a leader being the custodian of it Uh, the the people practices i have to ensure that uh, at least some kind of uh, consistency in the behavior or the, the attitude patterns should work every individual is different but at the same time when we speaks about organization uh, then we have to behave properly we have to have certain uh, the parameter on which uh, we have to work and we have to behave within the organization and that also has a see hr will anyway will work on it but at the same time the the whole of the uh, what do you call the leader of the organization has to also have some kind of uh, responsibility in uh, percolating to those uh, behavior uh, or demonstrating that those behaviors so i means not only the hr uh, but at the same time all the leaders should in a similar manner to 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 make the organization one of the happiest place to work with hr only can uh, enable her i can only enable them i can teach them or i can make them understand but at the same time i think uh, the leader has a major role to play i can guide the hr can guide hr can make policies processes or systems or to make them a uh, coaching as a individual we can only only make a difference and that is possible if everyone will will behave in a similar manner and everyone thinks that the the happiness in the workplace is one of the biggest uh, uh, motivator so you are saying that you know it totally depends upon the leaders you know but there will be different uh, you know different types of leaders different leadership uh, you know leaders themselves are you know are different persons and you know they they, they have different perspectives or they have a different way of operating in life so how do you you know if you see there is some some kind of gap do you uh, you know pinpoint that to the leader or do you absolutely you know, so that is the reason i'm saying yes so as a, as a hr uh, the people uh, person i anyway we, it is my duty to inform everyone the, which is uh, uh, which is wrong which is right or where you have to improve but at the same time i'm saying uh, as a leader of the organization the someone has to play a role about, about it if my behavior in a certain ways obviously my subordinates will also same similarly they will behave so that is the reason i'm saying the the organization the head of the organization has to have that kind of behavior or attitude towards the organization hence 
everyone will look for it or everyone will look at his the way of working and his way of uh, running the organization and automatically it will they will all everyone will fall into it if i don't like something i will not tolerate i will not accept uh, from my team members similarly the head of the organization also in work towards the same so i can the people person or the people uh, 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 custodian of people can only uh, works in tandem with with the leader or in tandem with the with the organization's uh, need if the organization will say that yes i need a place or i need this organization to be a happiest place then automatically it will it will be happen it will happen so if hr will say that no i need a I means i should make ensure that uh, the 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 organization is uh, we have to have a place where all people will be happy motivated i only can do it if this slow the or if if the md of the organization doesn't believe in those uh, aspects uh, uh, will only hr will be help means will be able to change the whole culture of the organization so my answer is no to it i have to be a, there is should be a, some collaborative uh, approach hr and the all the leaders then only i will be able to deliver that so at medica bazaar do you do you you know have it on the top of the agenda to make it an happy workplace or yes, you know, yes it, absolutely so what, what are the things that you do generally do you know to you know what do you think is the hygiene that you know you must be doing something some kind of activities to you know ensure that you know it stays a happy workplace you see some but, kind of, see some kind of activities in the sense see i i generally do a lot of uh, 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 programs which which i uh, ensure that all the team members all the uh, employees uh, give their own uh, perspective uh, how to make the organizations uh, happy or for them what is what is the definition of happiness yeah and why they are coming to office how engaged they are so periodically we do this exercise okay. and once we get some feedback then anyway we know what is uh, going on what where we want to do some improvement but at the same time we also re- means uh, request each and every individual to uh, 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 give some suggestions feedback about uh, how to make this workplace one of the happiest place to work so based on that we do some uh, uh, some some uh, uh, something on the on the uh, work around on on the feedback and suggestions and try to implement those areas so for example if uh, coming to office and flexible timing is one of the aspect of uh, the happiness okay and we will ensure that uh, that flexibility should be given instead of uh, very stringent uh, policies or the process on uh, punching in punch out if you give some free hand to employers that you can come to office Plus minus here and there, uh, but there is a flexibility. Uh, yeah, that. Too rigid on the timing. It is not dark. Correct. You know, dark yes. sharp at nine uh, thirty. It could be ten, ten thirty, eleven ish. Absolutely. And the second is how engagement. How you are engaged. So is it the the timing is uh, the uh, the problem, or your deliverables is the uh, is the key uh, parameter for you? for evaluating any person then if you are clear about that then people will be happy people will come delivered to their 200% uh, 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 the efforts and they can go away but if you think that no irrespective of your deliverables i will look at uh, how many hours you have worked then obviously you are doing uh, certain things which is not as per the expectation of the the employees so so many things are there which we we should work on it but it all depends on how individual is looking at it so based on the suggestions feedback uh, we generally make a uh, plan and try to implement whatever uh, possible uh, so know. what are the parameters to evaluate a happy workplace you know is it you, you said flexibility is it transparency is it trust you know what What do you think so, are the different parameters for, for the, 
See, I always take my ex own example. Yeah. So if I'm happy or if I want to be happy, a couple of things. One, I should be well engaged. Yeah. Second is trust. If my peers, my uh, manager is not trusting me, then I think uh, it's a question mark on my happiness. And the freedom. If you have given a freedom to do certain things, then you will feel pride in doing things. You will take passion. You feel that yes, I am responsible for certain things. Then you will deliver. If someone will after you, then I think means my perspective is I will not be able to deliver. If someone is not trusting me, then then I don't have any any place in this organization, or I can't deliver also. So I always take my example and ensure that that happens to my team members or my employees. So you look at or if you can check with my employees or my team members, I believe in all these three things. One is trust. Second is freedom. And the third is uh, how engaged you are. If you don't have work, obviously you will engage in some other activities, and you will not feel happiness. Then yeah. you have enough gossip enough time to backbite uh, many things say something about others when you are engaged you are fully engaged you don't have time to think of anything else so that should be the the uh, the three things which i look at and i always ensure that that happens to my team members Uh, tell me, you know, generally there are a lot of younger uh, youngsters these days. You know, they equate, uh, you know, a happy workplace with a fun workplace. You know? But do you do you say that you know that those two are same thing? And and generally, would you say that you know uh, a workplace which has uh, a younger workforce is a more, you know, fun workplace? So you know, it is a happy workplace. See, but if three things are there, so young or old, so I think I don't distinguish between anything uh, because if, if you make some restriction to young and young ones also, they will yeah. not feel. Happy. If you don't give that, if you don't trust them, if you do a uh, policing uh, means behind them, if they, if you don't give the means some freedom to work, then they will also be unhappy. So rather, young generation are looking for. For the trust and uh, the freedom, much much higher than yeah. the older generations. So I think this, if it's applicable to me, it is equally applicable to others. And you ask anyone, they will say the same thing. People don't uh, get happier uh, getting a, a higher paycheck. They will not never. So they will come to office fully engaged, doing so many things. And they have, and if they have the passion to do work, and they have the freedom, and someone is having a lot of trust in, so then uh, he will be one of the happiest uh, person in the world. If you don't trust, if you don't uh, give freedom, but there is a you know uh, there is certainly a, a difference in you know uh, in the way the two generations or you know the multi different generations perceive happiness at the workplace you know uh you know for the probably for the older generation there are different parameters where they probably you know value much more about you know peace at work or or you know uh, there could be certain other parameters as well but for the younger workforce it's about you know how many friends do i have at the workplace you know whether it is a fun place to work, whether it's a fancy office. There are different other parameters for them to evaluate, and that how they join an organization these days. You know they know money is just one part of it. I will get money. I work for A, B, C, D, or E. It doesn't you know? It, it is not cutting the eyes, but there are other parameters they evaluate, and that's how you know they. Join and work. I'm sure Medical Bazaar would have a large proportion of young workforce. 
Yes, people generally nowadays the young generations are looking for a fancy office. Whatever you say, I agree with one hundred percent. But they are not the only uh, uh, what do you call uh, factors for happiness. In spite of having everything, whatever you said, if yeah. they once they come to the organization and uh, the whole day is a stressful to them, they will then they will not like it. So they want to work for organizations. Apart from all such fancy things, they need something satisfaction. Satisfaction. Some some kind of satisfaction is should be there. If I am working certain things, someone is recognizing it. If I am doing something, I have I do have some freedom to do on that. No one is uh, uh, doing a micro management. So these are the few things which generally any youngsters or uh, older see older generations are there to, who can work on this parameter also. They for many of them they think that uh, end of the day i am getting the salary so ja ke jo bhi karo koi problem nahi hai mere ko job marzi tum gali do ye karo policing karo main aake kaam karta hu paisa mere ko jata hai that is enough for me but not for everyone so i think in 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 many organization i say that uh, ek punch ek lunch so there are many people who do punching have food do certain things go away they don't bother about anything whether they are engaged happy or not happy end of the month they are getting salary and uh, someone is there to uh, means uh, doing some some kind of information is flowing do teen mail kar dete hain raat mein 10 baje teen char mail kar lenge so they think that uh, the they have done the things and they are happiest person for many it's not that so if i am someone is doing good thing someone is should be there to recognize someone someone should be there to pat at his back motivate him guide him and give some freedom then the whether it is younger or the older many many people will be will be happiest uh, of uh, people in the organization medical bazaar would be you know a, you know would be a smaller organization compared to the other previous you know organization that you have worked for tata said tele services or reliance if, if you look at if you look at the number of people uh, then we might be we might call a smaller organization but at the same time business point of view the way we are growing uh, i think uh, we are not less than any any enterprise uh, we, i'm not talking in terms of brand value i'm saying in terms of uh, number of people yes yes, you know, yes. Do, you, do you see a change in perspective how people are managed you know in both the places or the outlook of people are different when they work for a small organization or a bigger organization Because, you know you have worked with reliance you which is huge i'm saying that are yes. so which is huge you know and plus they are part of another very big group so there there is and you know culture flow that keeps on happening from the parent companies act yes yes when you start a tele services there because a tata company they will behave in a certain way because it is a tata company so if it is reliance jio they will behave in a certain way because it is a reliance company you know? right irrespective of the identities that reliance jio individually or you know tata tele services individually might have see my my way of looking at it is uh, differently so uh, what i say is uh, see when you work in a bigger organization and come to a smaller organization uh, you you don't have to uh, compare with each other comparing your reliance with medica bazaar or reliance with uh, any other organizations it's not a apple to apple kind of comparison so you can't compare you should not compare also anyone comparing it's uh, they are in a wrong space or wrong uh, place to work so but at the same time the good things about reliance the good thing about the tatas or the billas if you are coming and implementing is will will be a beneficial for any organizations secondly the small organization has a uh, uh, the opportunity to work together the collaboration the uh, the collaboration from top to bottom is very easy 
but however in a bigger organizations uh, you know that uh, the by the time it comes from chairman to the, the lowest level uh, it filters out to so many things yeah but more it, process it, driven uh, rather than uh, the freedom that yes. you are talking about is probably there in a smaller company than in larger company where it is much more process driven yes yes and in a small company so the transparency is a, it's a very extremely high so yeah. and the uh, the openness the openness the transparency is uh, extremely on a higher side you come to know each and everything uh, immediately and uh, uh, the connecting with the people is also very easy so if i want i can directly go to the ground level and uh, uh, inform them or percolate them the culture change is means uh, doing a cultural changes is also very easier but in a organization like a, a bigger organization it's very difficult because it takes a lot of time to change the, the way of working yeah yeah that... if i want to change or if i wish i can start working on the changing the way of working or the style of working and it can be implemented within 6 months 7 months or 8 months but if something is you you want to change it dramatically in relance it takes so much of years because it's very not it's not so easy to change also there it, it has been built over years it's part of the dna it's not easier to change Absolutely. you think smaller organizations you know it's easier uh, you know to keep smaller organizations happier or or they generally happier because there is a sense of purpose every yes. there is a sense of ownership is much more in smaller companies than in uh, you know Agreed. larger companies so correct that way you know smaller companies would be much more uh, happier than larger uh, work some extent yes to some extent yes if you don't compare with uh, everything com- means comparison comparison with uh, each and every thing of uh, smaller and uh, larger organization you tend to be unhappy but you see the bigger picture yeah then i think you will be the one of the happiest person if you are working in a smaller organization it's That's just like owner- yes yeah. yes you you the ownership is on a higher side the you you feel that you are responsible you are at a particular uh, uh, leadership role then you are delivering certain things uh, which is uh, directly impacting the organization so then you feel happier then you will feel uh, honored to work in such organization rather than working in a larger uh, organization where your contribution is extremely minimal you 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 personally you know uh, i was talking uh, till now you know i was talking about you know generally about you know comparing uh, different work places do you personally have work which which one do you think you know you were the happiest you were happiest during the early part of your career or you know is it much more happier now that when you know when you have achieved everybody starts from somewhere you know how do you see that change happening or personally what has what has been the in the, in the life cycle of formation or you know in a professional life yeah. so your habits also changes every time so when you are just a junior guy or uh, just starting the career your happiness is something else when yeah. in your mid level uh, uh, it's a little different when in a higher level it is also different so uh, believe me i have worked in many organizations and i have enjoyed each and every stage of my career so one of the happiest or the most enriching experience which i have is my tenure in escotel and idea cellular so escotel mobile communication which uh, subsequently yeah. idea cellular which i worked with there for 11 years i can say i was one of the happiest person because during that time my need my happiness was a little different and i was getting much more uh, uh, than what i was expecting so be it motivation be it uh, your recognition be it your uh, career enhancement so everything was i was getting uh, before i was looking for it so hence i was one of the i i do remember uh, when i was a bachelor during that time uh, i was staying alone i start my day uh, 8 to 8:30 because i was staying very near to my office 
uh, I know uh, in many days uh, I worked till two o'clock, three o'clock, and many times I have slept at the office also because the work was so much, and I was alone in HR, so I was responsible for each and everything. So your talent acquisition to your life cycle management, uh, including your training and development. Uh, though training okay. was part of HR, uh, uh, it was not an independent function, but uh, anything related to a, the training, you have to deliver that also. I means through the trainer or through the external agencies, but for admin point of view, you are responsible. You will be responsible for everything. One person is responsible for the hiring, his talent uh, uh, development, his uh, salary processing, everything, each and everything. Yeah. To the last of uh, your exit processes, the F and F, making the full and final, doing the payments, doing the vendor payments. So all gamut of uh, the HR activities have uh, been being handled by one person. Then you are you are fully engaged. You don't think of or you can't think of doing anything else. And eight hours was a very little time for you to do anything. So in most of the times I was staying at the office. And completing it, then I'll early in the morning going home, then uh, getting fresh myself and come back to office. So that was my uh, during that time my happiness. And every two years I was getting the promotions. There is a salary correction. There is a salary rationalization. Something was uh, going on. Uh, you see, uh, the things need to move. So you know you you're saying because growth happened for you. You know. Yes. That, that, point of time and plus you you had this sense that you were doing something uh, fruitful and uh, you know something meaningful probably that contributed to your happiness at that and secondly period. even the even the your uh, uh, what do you call recognitions also yeah so if you are getting some recognition from someone then you feel very proud you feel very happy that uh, and my my uh, happiness is also uh, doubles when you when someone will say that uh, you have done a good job or you have done a great job. So I will will try to do much more. So that was my uh, intent uh, during that time. When I came to the organizations, my need was something different. Uh, then I get more uh, responsibilities, more uh, uh, roles. Until now. So here I am the only leader who, who can work on people and culture. Till till uh, Reliance, I was expecting something from the my managers or the HR leaders who were above me. Yeah. So now I am doing everything on my own. So that is also a happiness. So that yeah. gives a result when you work for the people. And you will feel that yes, I am the person who was who is responsible for doing or implementing such and such initiative because of which the people are happy the organization is growing we are getting a lot of recognition for that so that is also happiness for me so making that, a difference in people's life you know that yes. way you know it could be employees or colleagues at your workplace but you have uh, you know made a difference in yes their, for me now Anyone will, uh, if, if someone is uh, recognizing me or not, uh, doesn't matter to me. If I'm doing certain things, if people are recognizing or the employees are recognizing that, then I am the most happiest person. I don't need a reward. I don't need a pat at my back uh, from my manager or whoever it may be. I don't expect also. So you don't need your seniors to endorse it. But if yes. you see that you are doing it for somebody and, you know, for the employees and there is an uh, honest and uh, positive feedback from that you know the work would speak for itself yes i don't i don't uh, stand in front of something uh, do a selfie and uh, send it to all the people that i uh, am the person who is sitting here till 10 o'clock or i have done so many things no i don't need that so my efforts will be reflected when the people will come and say that uh, Thank you very much uh, for your initiative. I think we are happy. So that that is what uh, my reward. Do you think you know generally people's uh, you know that uh, others have also told me this. The the, the uh, you know 
the senior most people in the organization you know it's more difficult the difficult it is to keep them happy they the, they are the biggest script masters do you agree to it yes i do agree but but at the same time the senior most has to be a self motivated and they should not to look for uh, something like recognition or uh, uh, the clap so if the employees if your team members are recognizing that that is enough you need not to be get recognition by your mds or the ceos or the founder and so on and so forth no because so you know generally there are there is a senior workforce they start they complain about much more things than 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 a you know a junior employee and i think many of the hr leaders they complain that you know the the senior leadership will come you know complaining i don't have this i don't have that you know it should be done in this way whereas the junior they don't bother till the time their work is getting done they are happy so yes you have many people who will do that but it all depends my happiness is something else i will not look at other things yeah. those are all for me for them that that might be one of the motivation to be happy happier but yeah, at but the same as a professional you have to deal with these people you know for you and 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 yes. that's always so the which, which you can explain them or uh, counsel them is what i am doing myself if i can preach what i have been doing it or my see, obviously my happiness cannot be equal to your happiness yeah but some extent i can influence i can uh, give some guidance being a leader what is your what should you look for the happiness point of view so if they can understand it i think uh, nothing like it but happiness should be defined by this not by material things for me material things are all not a permanent uh, kind of things so it is there it might not be there tomorrow but you will get a lot of satisfaction if you get uh, kudos by by these junior most employees that uh, sir thank you very much so you have done a great job or because of which uh, we are happy do you think the happiness quotient has changed when we have moved to a more you know a hybrid work model you know where people uh, you know partly they come to office they are working from home or part of the workforce is working from home has there been a change in terms of the happiness yes. quotient to some extent there is a change uh, because the moment you say that no you will not be uh, working from home because you uh, you are required uh, your profile requires to be at office then he might say that the other guy is getting a work from home or hybrid model why not i am while most of the organizations are doing a hybrid why uh, your organization is doing uh, 100% work from office so there is a change but it all depends uh, to individual means i don't like uh, working from uh, always because i i want some kind of freedom some kind of uh, uh, space to do some certain activities so i can't always work at uh, a home and do everything so many people are there and there are a lot of people who don't want to see that all depends upon your deliverables if you are getting things done much much better than uh, coming to office then i don't mind it working from home but at the same time you have to judge yourself and the leader has to judge your uh, themselves yeah but that that's that's process oriented what i meant was you know has the attributes of happiness or the parameters of happiness changed you know like i'm saying uh, you know like when we all work from office these are certain requirements to keep the workforce happy now when that same workforce is working from home has those parameters changed or or it's it's same you know yeah. like yes that... certain certain parameter has to be changed because if you're making a, a fun at work so you can't yeah. do it at home also. Yeah. so there are a couple of things so you want to do some celebration 
so virtual celebration you know how how well you can do it yeah so as well as also some some areas where you have to improve so virtual is has not taken over 100% as far as your the the office culture is concerned or office uh, um, environment is concerned or uh, the happiness is concerned so it has has an impact but it's a matter of couple of months only so most of the year we will now come back to 100% uh, work from office and uh, there are many people who are uh, means uh, dying to come to our office and work two years is enough time now yeah so, people are generally uh, i think working from office and having fun and it's much much higher than working from uh, home so but but uh, you know say when you're working from office and say so you know flexibility would have more points you know in terms of a happy uh, work say uh, while you're working from home trust could have a you know more weighted than flexibility probably that changes when you are working from home and that is true for for me it has a i don't think so so trust whether working from office or working from home i i i want that flexibility whether it is at home or office i want that so for me the definition is little different or i need for both the both the uh, on both parameters for many it is uh, as you said if you are working from home you should trust him yeah so my my only question is counter question is if you are working from home i will trust you and, and you if you are from office i don't trust or i will have a less trust on you if i trust you whether you working from office or home doesn't matter for me basically for the flexibility whether it is working from office or home doesn't matter to me okay so how do you you know uh, you know if i ask you to define the work culture at medica bazaar in short See, what would how would you define it would you call it a you know a very fun place to work it's a you know how i, I don't want to put words in your mouth but how do you see uh, first of all i will tell you something about culture then i'll come to cover that see for me culture is nothing but it's a behavior or attitude of an individual yeah so the way i will behave the the whole organization will behave similarly or at least uh, i have a control of my own team if i behave properly with my team they will reciprocate with the same thing that is what the culture is if i am i don't trust my team members it's a my way of working so hence my team members will not trust me or vice versa or the flexibility point of view it's, it's the same thing if i do a monitoring means micromanagement then uh, it's equally applicable to me also so that is what the culture is so yeah. way you the leader behaves that becomes a culture so it's a top down always means from my definition point of view and if you ask about uh, medica bazaar it's a one is startup second is young and it's very dynamic yeah who's ever are working most of them are working for the passion because they have some uh, end objective while working with medica bazaar and we are extremely transparent uh, in our own culture we don't uh, distinguish between one and other the policies are equal the processes are equal so we treat everyone uh, at par there is no differences in between off role on role uh, female male whatever so the culture is like this so if as a medical bazaar uh, we are trying to be one of the best place to work so we do have our own traits why we think that uh, is one of the best place to work extremely dynamics and everyone has the flexibility to work everyone has all rights to innovate uh, and give their suggestions or the way of working hence i think uh, one of the 
you can say organization where we believe in uh, the happiness uh, at work we have the flexibility we work on a both uh, uh, i mean to say the, the the hybrid way of working and we encourage everyone to come to office have fun work and be engaged and go back home happily great that was lovely talking to you and thank you, you know, that was anil mohanty you know sharing his thoughts on happiness at workplace today with us we'll be back again with a new guest next week see you till then bye thank you thank you very much